Unit Seven, Vocabulary One, Exercise Two. Be born. Buy a house. Get a job. Get married. Go to university. Have children. Learn to drive. Leave home. Leave school. Start school. Train to be a. Work. Unit seven. Now say it. Exercise four. I want to learn to drive before I leave school. Then I'm going to leave school when I'm eighteen and go to university to study French and Chinese. After university, I'd like to get a job in a hotel or an office in Paris, and then later on, I'd like to buy a house just for me. I'm not going to university. I'm going to train to be a nurse, and then I want to work as a children's nurse. Later on, I'd like to get married and have children, two or three children. Unit seven, reading one, know your future, exercise seven. Don't read your horoscope, but look at the demographics for your country if you want to know your future. Demographics can tell you, for example, that if you are born in Japan, you'll probably have one child and live until you are eighty-three. They are statistics about real people in real places. And they can be fun. Here are some more. Leaving home. If you're a British girl, you'll probably leave home when you're about twenty-three. The average British boy won't leave home until he's nearly twenty-five. In Spain and Portugal, a girl will leave home at about twenty-seven, but a boy won't leave until he's nearly thirty. In Finland, the average girl will leave home at twenty-one. And a boy at twenty-three. Getting married. A person born in the UK, Spain, or Japan will get married for the first time at about twenty-nine years old. In Bolivia, Portugal, or the USA, you'll be twenty-three or twenty-four. If you want to wait, go to Finland, France, or Germany. You'll get married at thirty. Having children. In the USA, you'll probably have two children, but the maths is more complicated in other countries. In the UK and China, a family will have 1.8 children, but in Spain they'll have 1.4, the same as in Portugal. Do you want more? Go to Bolivia, where the average family has 3.4 children. Age. How long will you live? Iceland is a good place to live, as you'll probably live to around eighty-two. This is similar to Sweden, eighty-one, and better than the UK, seventy-nine, Turkey, seventy-two, or Russia, sixty-seven. Unit seven, grammar one, exercise eight. One. Will you train to be a vet at university? Two. Will you leave school at sixteen? Three. Will you have a good job one day? Four. Will your best friend play basketball tomorrow? Five. Will everybody buy big cars? Unit seven, pronunciation, exercise A. One. A. I go to university. B. I'll go to university. Two. A. I have two children. B. I'll have two children. Unit seven, pronunciation, exercise B. One. 
I'll go to university. Two. I have two children. Unit seven. Listening. Ambitions. Exercise ten. I think I will work as a dentist. My brother's training to be a dentist, and he says it's a good job. If I am a dentist, I think I'll work in India. There are a lot of dentists in the UK already, so I'll work in India. And one day, I'll travel around the world to lots of different countries. Yes, those are my ambitions. My ambitions? Easy. I'll be a DJ and I'll be really famous. I'll buy a big car and a house on the beach, like a famous actor. And I'll get married when I'm twenty-one, and we'll have lots of children. Well, I want to have four children. I think, is that a lot? Unit seven, listening, exercise eleven. I'm not a dentist. I studied marketing, but I've got an interesting job. I work for a film company, and I work in public relations. It's an Indian company, so I work in India a lot, and I represent the company and its actors in the UK. And I'm going to travel around the world next year. I'm presenting Indian films at different festivals. So, yes, more or less, my dreams came true. I didn't become a DJ. I did try to be a disc jockey, but I didn't like working at night. I work as a taxi driver. I'm not rich, but I got my big black car. My taxi's black. Oh, and we've bought a little house by the beach in Spain, so that dream came true too. Married at twenty-one? Yes, I did. I got married at twenty-one. I've got three children, two boys, and a baby girl. Unit seven, speaking, exercise two. I want to buy a guitar. Which one should I buy? How much money can you spend? I've got two hundred pounds. You should buy a second-hand guitar. Oh, great idea! What do you think of these two? They both look fine. What kind of music would you like to play? Pop. What should I do? I think you should get an electric guitar. It's more expensive, but you could join a band. Good idea. Yes. I'll do that. Thanks, Will. No problem. Unit seven, culture, music in schools, exercise six. A lot of music bands started at school. Many teenagers form bands and practice in their parents' houses or garages. Famous bands that formed in school include the Beatles, U2, Muse, Green Day, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Many children learn to play instruments such as the violin or the piano in school and in private classes. Some schools have an orchestra. There are sometimes concerts in the school, and some orchestras compete against other schools in regional or national competitions. They even sometimes travel to other countries. Some teenagers sing in school choirs after school or during lunchtime. Choirs sometimes sing classical songs or traditional folk music. Gospel choirs are also popular in both the USA and the UK. These choirs sing religious hymns. Unit seven, vocabulary two. Exercise two. Acoustic guitar, drums, electric guitar, flute, keyboards, percussion, piano, saxophone, trumpet. Violin. Unit seven, reading two, the road to success, exercise six. Do you want to be in a band? 
Have you got what it takes to be a star? Will you be successful? Read on and find out. If you want to be a successful band, you'll need at least one vocalist and three friends to play the guitar, the drums, and the keyboards. It's important to practice every day. If you don't practice, you'll sound terrible and people won't like your music or buy your songs. Your look is important too. If you want to be famous, you'll need an image to make you different. If people don't like your image, they won't buy your songs. If you have a good image, your fans will love you. They'll buy your songs, they'll go to your concerts, and congratulations! You will be the next big thing. Unit 7 Writing Exercise 1 Our future. I asked 20 people in my class about their predictions for the future. Here are the results. Will you leave school when you are 16? No one will leave school when they are 16. Most students want to go to university, so they need to study A-levels first. Will you learn to drive when you are 17? 50% of students will learn to drive when they're 17. Some students have got older brothers or sisters who had driving lessons on their 17th birthday. A few students will learn to drive when they finish university. Will you get married before you are 25? Will you have children? No one will get married before they're 25. Everyone wants to get a good job and buy a house first. Most students will have children. A few students will have three children or more. Patrick. Unit 7. CLIL. ICT. Dot com companies. Silicon Valley is south of San Francisco. It's home to many large technology companies such as Apple and Hewlett Packard and also many dot com companies. These are companies like Google, Facebook and eBay, which operate mainly over the Internet. But where did the dot com company come from? In 1985, the World Wide Web was first introduced to the world. A company called Symbolics became the first company to register its address, or URL, on the web. Today, there are 200 million websites in existence, and one domain is registered every three minutes in the UK alone. But it took a long time for the Internet to become the phenomenon it is today. It was when Sir Tim Berners-Lee put up the first website in 1990, info.cern.ch, that the Internet took off. During the 1990s, there was a dot-com boom. Many people became rich because of the World Wide Web. In 1998, PhD students Larry Page and Sergey Brin invented Google. These days, this search engine is the world's most recognisable brand, and in 2011, it was valued at $192 billion.